In NCIS, the actor portrayed Tony Venozo. On social media, Michael Weatherly provoked a response from his followers after sharing what some called a interesting and mysterious message. The actor asked his fans on X, the former Twitter platform, which spooky podcast should I visit? Before sharing a link to Michael Parker's program, The Ghosts of Lay. In the run-up to the eerie holiday season, the NCIS actor, who was previously recognized for his role as Tony Venozo on the CBS drama, received a barrage of messages from his admirers expressing gratitude for the recommendation. Oh, that sounds interesting and mysterious, very appropriate during these days, wrote a devotee. Another remarked, Eerie, I appreciate the suggestion. Another said, Hey, MW, a really fascinating podcast. I adore learning the stories and mysteries that envelop buildings, historical locations, and antique items. If only the walls could speak, as they say. As a fourth person wrote, I appreciate the suggestion. I'll definitely give that some thought. Your timing on posting seems ideal. Some, meanwhile, seized the chance to inquire about the TV personality's next plans. One person was curious about his purported comeback to NCIS, while another wondered whether his post suggested he would be making an appearance on his own podcast. When are you back with the gang for recording the tribute episode to Ducky so the new series can start? said the user. In plainer terms, when you coming back to NCIS? There have been rumors of Michael taking revenge on Tony for some time, but the actor has said nothing about the possibility. After the show's Ducky Mallard actor David McCallum passed away in September, viewers questioned whether a memorial episode would be approved. Taking to social media, devoted viewers of the program shared their own suggestions on how David ought to be remembered. One person on Instagram stated, First new episode needs to be a funeral for Ducky, with the return of Gibbs, Tony, and, probably a long shot, Abby, which drew supportive and concurring comments. In the meantime, Michael left NCIS in 2016, citing his weariness from the show's rigorous schedule at the time. It happened at the perfect moment, he continued, saying that he was ready for a fresh challenge after being burned out on NCIS. Occasionally, a change can be just as beneficial as a break. Friends, this is it for now. Please subscribe to the channel to remain up to date on all the latest news from the entertainment industry.